Hello everybody, and welcome to the channel. Today, I am proud to show you the latest game from 8-Bit Millie Games. Crazy Chicky Jr. New Cluck City. Sub subtitle, Egg on the Town. Last year we released Crazy Chicky Jr., which was very successful. We still sell it in the store in a budget packaging now. If you check out our store, you can still get that game if you didn't get it last year in the big box. This year, we have New Cluck City. And I'm going to show you some gameplay of New Cluck City and show you how you can go online and pre-order the game, which will be coming out in the middle of November towards the, of, towards the end of November, and thereabouts. And also, stick around, because at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the third game in the, new, in the Crazy Chicky Jr. series. Yeah, it's a series. You got to hang around and see that game, because that one's a little different, too. So let's show you New Cluck City. New Clock City, as you can see down, well, it looks like down there. Here's your title screen. Well, actually, I'm going to restart it just so you get to see the splash screen. All right, so you can see down here, this is our standard splash screen. And then it goes to the title screen, New Clock City, Egg on the Town. In the background, you hear it playing the chicken dance song, which is par for the course for Crazy Chicky Jr. That's its title song and Crazy Chicky Jr. The first game is going to be the title song for New Clock City. To start the game, just press your fire button and it takes you to your skill select level. Here you can go normal, hard, or insane. You can also enter in a passcode. What a passcode is, is when you complete a level and you beat a boss, you're given a passcode. Write that passcode down and then later on, if you want to come back and pick up where you left off to play the next boss, you enter in that passcode. It saves you time. You don't have to work your way through the whole game every time if you want to slowly, methodically work your way through the game. Because the game is big. I mean, just to give you some idea of how big the game is. There are four bosses in the game. There's four different boroughs in New Cluck City. There are 104 different hoods, neighborhoods in New Cluck City. There's 234 henchmen in New Cluck City. Streets keep changing as you move around with detours. There's three different skill levels. There's passcodes, as you can see. There's hidden switches that reveal coins that help you increase your score. There's bonuses throughout the game. And then some other interesting things about the game is you ride around in your eggmobile. Yeah, eggmobile. I thought it was cute. You can press a button and you can slow time down to allow you to escape from a henchman. You can press another button to make you invincible temporarily so you can run through the henchman. So those are your controls. And you use your joystick, move left, right, up, and down. The game is a motion game. You are continuously in motion unless you hit up against a wall and then it stops you. Otherwise, you're in motion all the time. So let's get started. I'm going to select a skill level of normal. And this right here is your first screen. This is the hatchery. As you can see up on the top right left hand corner, you got your score. Top right hand corner is your high score. So if you're playing and then you die and then you want to start all over again, if you just if you don't reset your thing, if you get the game over and you hit start again, your high score stays there and your score starts out all over again. You can see on the screen there's the four different bosses. Just to give you the names, because they do have names, top left hand corner that's moving right now is Maurice. Across from him, on the right hand side is Fred. Down on the bottom left is Bob. And then the bottom right is Frank. They are progressively harder based on the boss. Maurice is the easiest one, Frank is the hardest one. You can see on the screen also, down on the bottom, there is your egg. And you can see four different exits around the hatchery. You can see that the exit on the left is open, but the other three exits are closed. You can't go into them until you collect Maurice. You have to beat Maurice first to be able to get to the other burrows. So you have the four burrows around it. Down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see how many lives you have. In the bottom right-hand corner, that is your invincibility. You have three of them. If you press the arm button, which for those that don't know the difference between fire and arm, fire is your left button, arm is your right button. If you press the arm button, which is the right button, you'll be invincible for a little bit of time, and then it goes away. If you press the fire button, you see the green bar along the top, that's your slow down. That's your slow time down that bar will start dropping down. Once it runs out, you don't have any more slowdown. But as soon as you let go of the fire button, it slowly will increase back up to full strength over a certain amount of time. So here we are. We're gonna go to the left and we're gonna go over and visit Maurice's city, or Maurice's borough. I just wanna show you, I moved left, but see how it just keeps moving? It will not stop moving unless I tell it to stop or I hit up against something. 
You can tell it to move in a different direction at an intersection. Intersections are the empty spaces on the roads or, well, actually that's where intersections are, just empty spaces. So see, you can, I changed the direction there and I'm gonna go in here. So it scrolls over and shows me this is the hood. And I'm going to pause this because I wanna point out some certain things in here. You can see my egg is on the right hand side. You can see I can't go back. I'm locked in here until I beat this level, I'm locked in here. You can see three gray foxes on the screen. Those are henchmen for this section, this hood. You can see on the screen, um, the yellow hatchlings that have been released. And just as a backstory, because I really didn't get there, what's happened here is New Clock City has been overrun by the four bosses. And what they have done is they have taken and they have thrown all the hatchlings out of the hatchery. Many of the hatchlings are scattered throughout the hoods, just roaming the streets. And then there's a hundred hatchlings that the boss has. And I'll show you later what the boss is doing to the hatchlings. But your job is you need to collect every loose hatchling in the hood. When you collect every loose hatchling in the hood, the hood unlocks so that you can go now go to the boss and get the rest of the hatchlings that he's holding hostage. I'll show you how that gameplay works. Down in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the number of hatchlings I have for the hood so far is zero. You can see in the bottom left hand corner now, it tells me I'm level 1A. So this is level one and each hood has a letter, A through Z. So there's 26 hoods and a level. To move around in here, you just use your arrow keys to move around. As you can see, if you look to the left, it's kind of hard for me to point at it, so you're just gonna have to work with me. If you look to the left of where the Eggmobile is, you can see that the dotted line for the street goes and then it makes a right-hand turn. That's a detour. You'll see detours throughout the game. Some detours are just that, detours. Some detours are smart detours and that when you touch that detour and go the other direction, the detour now changes to funnel traffic a different way. You also see on the screen red, green, and blue coins. You can't touch those coins. Well, you can touch them, but you can't get them. You can only get those coins when you have activated a switch that is either red, green, or blue. When you find a switch and activate it, let's say you find the red switch and you activate it, all the red coins in this burrow now become white and you can get them. You'll also find throughout the, the neighborhood or the, the burrow, you'll find the bonus letters, B-O-N-U-S. Collect all five bonus letters, letters, you get a big bonus. So to move around in here, what I need to do is I need to collect all the chickies and I need to avoid the henchmen and then go to the next hood and do the same until I've cleaned out all or collected all the chicks the hatchlings from all 26 hoods. I keep confusing the word hood and burrow, so I'm trying to stick to the correct terminology. So back to the game. See, if, if you notice that, oh, I just got killed anyways. But if you notice that, that one that I pointed out to the left of my entry, that detour, you notice how the detour changed when one, the henchman touched it, and two, I touched it. Now, I just got... Touched by a great fox, and I died. So I'm put back over here to the beginning where I entered. See, you bounce, if you can't make the change, you bounce off of it. See how I bounced off of that? Now I can make the, the change go up this way. Oh, let me show you how slowing down time works. Oh, slowing down time doesn't make you invincible, it's just slowing down time makes, yeah, I should get out of there. See how I'm doing slowing down time now. See how they move slower? I'm still moving fast, but they're moving slower. And now, invincible. I pressed invincible, I can run through them. But you only have a certain number of invincibles and then you get, then you get a new invincibles, you get new invincibles after you beat the boss. So you only have three per hood, and then when they're gone, you don't get any more until you start the next hood, or the next burrow. Three per burrow, and then you get more, three more when you start the next burrow. So as you can see, okay, I cleaned down all the chickies. On, it's game over. And on top of the screen, you can see it's game over. So and my score is 500. I'm gonna press fire button, or what is it? M? Press M to restart. M, I'm using the emulator here. Press arm to restart. See, it remembers my high score up here, but I'm starting over again.
See how the screen smooths slowly or smoothly scroll from one hood to the next? I stopped in the middle of scroll and I paused it. Let's see, go back up here. I want to just show you. You also notice down in the bottom in the left-hand corner, the level changes on me in section D. Each hood is basically a diamond format. You come in from one point of the diamond and you got to work your way through the diamond up, down, left, and right until you clear out the whole, each burrow. <laughs> I will have it right by the time I get done. Each burrow is basically a diamond format with 26 hoods in it. And you got to work your way up and down, left and right through the burrows to clear them out. I'm going to see if I can find a switch in here. This game will remember what you've done too. It's not like resetting. If I if I clean out the screen and come back, or clean out a hood and come back, that hood stays cleaned out. I'm pausing right now because I'm trying to find switches. I can't recall exactly where the switches are, which is probably a good thing because it's no fun to play a game if you know where all the things are. But the switches do remain in the same place. So once you up the, over there, see a bonus letter. There's a letter O over there. I'm gonna go get that bonus letter. Yeah. Once you've cleared out, or what, once you've played the game, if you wanna keep track of where things are, it can make it easier for the next time you play it. There's a switch, see it on the top? The red plus, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that red plus, and now see all the red ones just turn into green, or into white coins, and I can collect them. And if you notice, by the left of the screen, I come back, well, they're still collected. And that's what, oh, and there's a bonus letter. I just got the end before I died there. So you can see, this is how each level works. And there are 104 different screens you got to work your way through. 26 for each boss. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over. I'll stop the recording of this one. I'm going to now switch over to a version of the game, which I do not have to collect all of the chickies. Uh, I switched to another version where I don't have to collect all the chickies so that I can, in turn, go see the boss. I only have to collect one, then it opens the door. I just made a switch, uh, change in the code just so that I can demonstrate this to you without having to play the whole thing. So, here we go. This is a modified version. Let's make it to the boss. So, I'm going to come in here. I just need to get one chickie. Now notice, I got that one chicken. If you notice on the right hand side, the entrance I came in is now opened. I can now leave. It thinks I collected them all, even though I've only collected two. It thinks I collected them all, it's happy with me because that's how I changed the code that once I get one, it unlocks it. So I'm gonna run out of here. Whoop, not yet. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, now I am going to face the boss. Up on top, bouncing back and forth is Maurice and he tells me to catch all the chicks. What do you think I need to do? Catch all the chicks. And to start, I'm gonna press the fire button and then I gotta catch all the chicks. And if you miss them like I just did, well, you lose a life. There is a patterns to this too, if you wanna to try to, each boss has a different pattern and a different speed, but there are patterns. So if you wanna to try to determine how to get them, it may look easy, but it's really not that easy to get these. I mean, it's hard, they're hard to see because they're coming down. But that's what you need to do. And you need to collect all the chickies. And if you notice, you don't get any score for collecting the chicks. This is just a requirement. You must do it to get to the next level. So let's just see. I'm going to see, can I collect all the chickies? Oh, I missed that one. Come on, come on, I'm running out of lives. I got my last life here. Come on, collect all chickies. Stay here, that's right, just keep dropping them in the same place. There's 100 chickies he's dropping on me. And I missed them. Game over. And if you're curious, this is, this is some of the design paperwork that I did. This is how the burrows are laid out. Like I said, they were in a diamond format and the hatchery's in the center. So that's how they're laid out. So there you have New Clock City. It is still in final beta. 
Um, as you saw, you don't get any scores or don't any points for catching the chickie. I think after playing it and explaining that you don't, I think I'm going to add in some score for that. I mean, you're working hard. You might as well be able to. And that's that. Now, here is something I want to show you. Okay, so as I said, New Clock City is the sequel to Crazy Chickie Jr. And then what we have here is Crazy Chickie Jr. Escape. What is Escape? This is the next game, which is going to come out early spring. Well, maybe late winter, early spring of next year. I mean, January, February of 2024, was more specific. What, crazy, what Escape is, Chicky, who's now a captain, I mean, he rescued New Cluck City, and so as his reward, he was given control of the egg ship, and he has been sent to, or he has not been sent, he's been tasked with taking the four evil foxes to a prison colony out in space. I know chicken space foxes so what's happened along the way is well the egg spaceship had a problem and had to land and when it landed on an asteroid the foxes escaped so here we have captain chicky he is outside of his space egg spaceship and he needs to go get the foxes so we're going to look at what's on the screen real quick because there's a lot of stuff on the screen. Part of this game is not only do you have to collect the foxes, you also have to, have to collect all the parts to fix your ship. Think Pikmin. It works similar to that. Top left-hand corner, that's your power meter. Top right-hand corner is your oxygen meter. Top bottom right-hand corner, you can see that sparky thing. That's power in case you need more power. Bottom right-hand corner, that's an oxygen bubble to give you more oxygen. You use up energy moving around. You use up oxygen being alive. So... Let's start moving. I'm gonna move around. I'm gonna, I just touched the sparker plant and I recharged. I touched an air bubble, see my oxygen went. So let's go down. It has the ga same game style mechanics that New Cluck City has with the scrolling left, right, up and down horizontal screens. I am now inside of the cave. And I don't want to touch any water. Watch, I'm going to show you. What happens if I touch water? Avoid the water drops. You see, my oxygen bubble, my oxygen level went down when I touched them. The mushrooms don't hurt me. So I'm going to fly around in here and try to find an oxygen bubble. Let's recharge real quick. Those right there, I believe I called them spark. Uh, those are water drops, yes. Cave spiders. You touch a scave spider, they suck up your energy real fast. And you turn green and get really sick. Energy and oxygen, for that matter. So there's a sparker down here. Over here is a part. A special egg. There are special eggs you need to collect, too. Uh, I think it's eight special eggs. I'll know the actual details later as we get further on. But this is a very, very large map that is still being laid out. Yeah, I should avoid things that it tells me to avoid. What I'm doing is I'm just running around here. I just want to look for some stuff. There's certain sections that are locked unless you, ooh, there's a sparker. Certain sections are locked until you get the keys to unlock them. I know, avoid the water drops. I don't have the map open in front of me, otherwise I would know exactly what I was doing looking around here, but I'm just gonna look around. Eventually I'll die. Uh, avoid the water drops. I get it, I need to avoid the water drops. Right, here's a part. Part from the egg ship. See down at the bottom, I got my parts list now. All right, so let's try something. I'm gonna restart again, because I wanna see if I can find, there's a certain, if I go a certain direction, I can go somewhere. I can't remember if it was up, down, left, right, whatever, but eventually it takes me to a certain spot that I wanted to go to. I just wanted to see if I can find it real quick. Oh, 
Nope, not in here. Anyways, this is a work in progress. Again, I said January to February, it should be released. But that's what this game is. And if you're still with me, I'm gonna show you one other game here. This game is looking at a late November, early December release. Let me load it up in here. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's this one here. This is one of the games for the Lumberjack games. The Lumberjack games is a bunch of games where it's one or two player, where you try to get the best score doing Lumberjack style games. And just to give you a little gameplay on it, well, how this game works, and again, this is still a work in progress, so we do are gonna change some of the mechanics. We may change it that you don't jump on a log, you may start on the log, only because jumping on a log lets you die. But what you need to do is you see the counter up on the top, you need to jump on a certain number of logs before you run out of time. So let's just jump on a log, and I fell out of water. <laughs> we, I think we're going to take the air jump out. Yeah. Because it seems to just make it. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Like I said, I think we're going to also. All right, so I'm on here now. Now you need to jump short and long, and I just. Fire is a short jump, M is a long jump. Lumberjack Games, it's getting there. It's a work in progress. It's we Right now we're working on the game mechanics. Look at that smooth flowing graphics going through there how are you getting away with no sprite flickers i have four color characters on there a lot went into this one and there's more games involved besides just jumping on logs either there is axe throwing um log uh, tree cutting wood sawing just think lumberjacks think paul bunyan and that's what you're gonna do so what I, would, what I would like for all of you to do, if you're still this far, is you should go on our website, and I'm going to pop that up here on the screen. Let me do a window capture of it. All right. You should go on our website, 8bitmilligames.com, and you should pre-order Crazy Chicky Jr. New Cluck City. As you can see, that's what the cartridge looks like. This is the box. Look at Crazy Chicky Jr. He's just chicky. Or Junior, running around, panicky, just like he was before. And look at the running man is going with him, too, for that matter. And you have bullet holes up here saying New Clock City. On the back, it shows you the gameplay. It has the same crazy chicky Junior look and feel where it shows you a screen and gives you a good blurb about the game. And then we also have in here, we have the various different game levels. And then you can read down here all the content on how the game works. So check this out. It's been a long time. I'm going to try to do some more of these videos because I really do enjoy doing them. Have a great day.